And we're joined on the telephone by the Diamondbacks uh, director of scouting, Derek Ladnier, who's been busy the last couple of days with the Major League First Year Player Entry Draft. And Derek, thanks for joining us. Yeah, no problem. Glad to be here. Uh, I love your quote about the first pick you got, Anthony Greer, the uh, outfielder from Auburn. It said, uh, this is you now, you say he's a tooled out player that plays in center, stays in center field. What is a tooled out player? That means, that means when you check all the boxes of, of hit, power, field, throw, and run, he fills them all out at an above average major league range. And, and they're, they're very hard to find guys like that. You, you, you know, somebody's got power, but they can't hit, or somebody can run, but they can't hit. It's usually what the case is, and this guy, he, he checks out in every box. And, and, and the cool part for us is this guy stays in center field. Yeah, I'm looking. We're looking at some video of him now. He was a leadoff hitter for Auburn in the SEC, which is full of great programs. 366, led the team with 12 homers, 41 RBIs. What did you especially like about him? Um, I mean, honestly, just everything. I, I mean, we'll start off with the conference that he played in. The SEC is one of the best in, in the, the collegiate rank. He faces guys that he's going to be facing at the major league level once he gets there. And he has to compete at the highest level. And obviously, with the numbers that he puts up and the batting average and the stolen bases and the home runs it just and the character of the individual he came into chase field for a pre-draft workout was gracious enough to do that and he wanted to be a diamond back and, and that's what we're looking for i mean people that want to come here and they want to perform and and be stars for this organization and i truly believe that he's going to be an everyday center field for the diamond back um and, and not the very far future well, Derek, you know what I'm going to ask you. This is Bob Brantley. Drafted two catchers in the first day. Andrew Yerzy with your uh, second pick, number 52 overall. Tell us a little bit about him. Um, you know what? He also came into Chase Field, and, you know, we tried to address a need in the organization. And in and, and the draft, guys, not every year there are catchers that are available that you love. And this year was loaded with catchers, so we targeted a lot of them. And, I mean, this is a young man. He's 17 years old. He's big. He's strong. He's physical. Um, he's got, he does have some work to do behind the plate, but the most intriguing thing about him was his back. He, he came, he's 17 years old. He came into our stadium and, quite frankly, made it look extremely small. And you're talking about a 17-year-old young man. I mean, when I tell you small, he was hitting balls as far as anybody. If you put him in a major league uniform right now and put him in batting practice with him, you would not tell a difference. Mm. Would you anticipate that he stays at catcher, Derek, or do you let yeah. that get sorted yeah, out? We, no, yeah, I mean, I mean, he's you know he's 17. He's still growing into his body. He's got an average arm. He's going to have to work on shifting. His hands are fine, but just just the intricate details of catching, as as you guys well know, it's a very difficult position. It's a hard position to find major league quality catchers, and his bat is going to be ahead of his defense. So we're going to have to be patient with him. But our, our initial, you know, plan is for him to stay behind the plate, uh, be an average major league receiver, and we, we truly think he's got a chance to be a middle-of-the-order bat. So those five guys, last time I checked, are very difficult to find. And, I mean, this kid's makeup, he's intelligent, was trying to go to Notre Dame. Um, he, I mean, he checked it all. I checked all the boxes, too. Well, we're taking a look now, Derek, at a list of uh, the rest of the picks. Today was day two. How'd you do on day two? Good. I mean, you know, the next the next guy we got, John Duplantier, um, he's got major league ready stuff now. I mean, uh, body, delivery, arm action. I mean, it, it's up to 98 plus curveball, change up. You know, everything's there for him to be a power starter. But as we all know, you've got to go play the speed of the game. You've got to learn it. Um, I mean, he, he has no limitations. He just, we, you know, he's got innings. This year, so he'll go out this year probably as a reliever because he could probably only throw 15 to 20 innings based upon what uh, you know the number of innings we like to do with first-year players, kind of like Taylor Clark was last year. But uh, we have every you know desire for him to be a starter. I did do an interview earlier today. You know, if at some point or time somebody says, "Hey, we need a power reliever, a Wade Davis type," you know, he might be that guy, and that would be a fast track for him. But we're gonna we're gonna try to get a starter out of this and a quality starter. He's a big horse. He's strong, and um, he's got a chance to move very quickly in this organization. And then the next guy on your list, Derek uh, Taylor Curtis, a uh, uh, right-handed pitcher out of the University of British Columbia. Two of the first four picks out of Canada. Is that unusual? Yeah, 
Yeah, you know what? Somebody was playing the Canadian national anthem in the draft room today <laughs> because we were we were we were we were taking so many. It was, it's just one of those years where, where I mean these players, um, they're probably more difficult to see because of where they come from. But he also, Curtis Taylor, came into our pre-draft workout and like Duplantis here, he's up to 97 in our workout and big, strong, physical. He's got life on his fastball. He's got a quality slider and changeup. He's only 20 years old. He looks like he's about 17. So that body of his is going to mature and, um, I mean, starter potential again. And, and, it, and it's power. It's not, you know, it's not finesse. It's not touch and feel. It's difference maker type stuff at the major league level. Well, D-back scouting director Derek Ladnier. Job well done, Derek. Thanks for joining us. We'll let you take a break. I know it's been a busy couple of days for you. <laughs> yeah, no, I appreciate it, guys. We've got 30 more rounds to go tomorrow, so we'll do our best. Thanks very much. Thanks, Derek.